What's going on guys? Hey, today we're going to talk about the stools from Arcade 1UP, Gen 1 versus Gen 2. So let's get right into it. Hey, these stools are awesome. Either one you get, Gen 1, Gen 2, they're both fun. They both look great. I'm sure, well, let's drop it. You can see the artwork on the Ninja Turtles and the NBA Jam. Artwork looks great. Quality of build looks great. Um, let's go ahead and talk about some differences that are obvious real quick. First of all, the Gen 1 is adjustable. Um, the leg can end here or it can end here. So you can take this piece off and move this little foot up here. Same thing, you know, on all four of them. So it can be shorter. It can stop here versus here. You lose about, what, about eight inches off the height here. So if you're a little shorter or a kid's playing on it and they want to still sit on a stool, the Gen 1's adjustable, and now the Gen 1's, I believe, are like the Ninja Turtles, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, all those. And I think Gen Mortal Kombat, you can actually get Gen 1 and Gen 2, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, most of those are all the Gen 1 style seats. And then the Gen 2's are your NBA Jams, Froggers, I believe Star Wars is Gen 2. Um, but of course, going more with the differences, uh, the bar the circle, whatever you want to call this thing, the stabilizer piece, is on the inside of the Gen 1s. The Gen 2, it's on the outside. Uh, of course, like I said, so the Gen 2 is not adjustable. It's pretty much one size fits all, which is fine with me. I'm taller. Everybody that plays these is more adults. And the kids, I've got a five-year-old. She climbs up on here, no problem, and gets them. So I don't really, the adjustable thing means nothing to me. Um, and the bar is on the outside. Now, I will say, me putting it together, I don't know if it's just me or what, but putting the one together with the circle thing on the outside was a lot easier. The inside one wasn't crazy better or anything, but, I mean, it was it definitely was easier for me. I don't know if there's some engineering or something to it that makes sense to go with that, but this one was just easier to put together than the Turtles one was. Um, now, this one I got with the NBA Jam Arcade, and a lot of the newer machines if you buy them you can get the stool with it like frogger um some of the pac-mans they all come with it uh i think what's what's which one of the newer ones buck hunter i haven't seen a buck hunter one with it certain ones like that uh star wars i think i don't think you can get it with it now but anyway neither here nor there not gonna think while we're on the thing but what i will say so of course between the two if you sit on them this one's softer. I don't know what it is. It's got a little more cushion to it. This one's a little firmer. So this one's a little nicer to sit on, but I've sat on both of them in gameplay. I don't really notice it. I notice it more and I just put my hands on it. I can feel this one's got a little more give than this one. It has a little more give and then gets firm. So, you know, you're not going down to a bar or anything. So this one does feel a little better hands-on than the Gen 1. Is it different foam, different insides I'm not sure but like I said this one just feels a little softer than this one does but uh overall I mean they're they're basically the same stool just this one's adjustable the rings on the inside and it's a little more firm than this one I actually got this one on GameStop I missed the $29.99 sale we got the $49.99 sale they're what 80 bucks I think regular um don't really think they're worth 80 bucks and I hate being that guy telling somebody what their products worth or not worth uh, I, all the price and everything's good I think $50 is a good price point for these most bar stools if you go buy them especially sports teams you're looking in the hundreds of dollars so I would want a Saints one for it but it's like 149 for a Saints one of course NFL license stuff is going to be way more expensive I just don't see see the cost of this being $80 there's just 50 that's perfect I mean, I can almost even see 60, but 80 is a little steep. So the $50 jumped on it. If they would have had, of course, all they had was this Star Wars and NBA Jam. I don't have Star Wars and I already had the NBA Jam one. So even when it was 30 bucks, still would have just got one. I don't even know why I told you all that. that. That makes no sense. But $50, I think, is a good price point. So keep watching. Check GameStop. They put them on sale every now and then. I think these were Black Friday deals, Cyber Monday deal type things. So maybe after Christmas, maybe after New Year's. You know, whatever stock they have, maybe they'll try to get rid of and it'll go on sale again. That's usually when you see more sales is right after Christmas. So check it out at GameStop. I think you can order them from Arcade 1-Up too, but I don't think they ever hardly run 
any kind of sales worth really mentioning. But uh, both great stools, both do what they're supposed to do. I have no problem with either one. There's just little bitty differences between the two and just want to go over them real quick with you in case you're in the market for them. But all right, guys, out.